my thumbnail, but we got some crazy videos to show you guys. Check it out. So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Yo, that was crazy. Do you understand what he just that said? Yo, when was this? That was last night on this TV show called SNL, Saturday Night Live. Uh -huh. That show's been around since forever. And this man just went on there and spoke the truth. Yeah, wasn't that Woody Harrison? Yes, I'm a big fan of Woody Harrison. He's a big, famous guy. And yeah, I remember he did the movie um, Jumpman on Wesley Snipes. Yes, the basketball movie. White man, yeah, white, white man can't jump. That was back in the days, but you got some white man that can jump now. <laughs> they good. He's done a lot. But when, when he talks about the vaccine... That just happened. Mm -hmm. The biggest drug cartel. Um, yeah. And that's another problem, by the way. The biggest drug cartel is going to cancel him because nowadays they use that a lot to cancel culture. So, yes. for him going on TV and speaking the truth, I mean. A national TV, like a biggest uh, program, that's, that was. He took some jabs in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because what did the. Um, the vaccine do. They made us get locked up and mm -hmm. and nobody could come out until they got the shot, until they used their drugs. Now, personal history. Okay, I went ahead and I got one shot. Did you get a okay. did you get a shot? No, no, I didn't. Because uh, I knew a, a couple of people in my office didn't get the vaccine. So they they went straight to the drivers. That they didn't go straight to the mechanic. They didn't go straight to the HR. They went straight to, I, I don't know. So I felt like it wasn't sitting right with me. So I said, let me, let me do the, my, my, you know, my, 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 my background check and see why, why they man, making it mandatory. Yeah. My job made it mandatory. Like either you get the shot or you're fired. One of those things that is tough. So I had That's to tough. get it. I had to get the shot. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people then, I think somebody went to court. Because if you notice, they didn't attack certain community. It attacks a, a few, like a target. So we're going to do it here in the five boroughs. But if you go away from the five boroughs, Westchester, Westchester Avenue, if you go to upstate New York, Middletown, it wasn't mandatory out there. Only in the five boroughs. I mean, as you can see, you could do a lot of conspiracy theories. You know, and that's like a conspiracy theory that they try to lock down just the five mm -hmm. boroughs, but the way that I saw it is they try to lock down the entire country. You know, they had a yep. lot of people scared. They try to push this vaccine to every year get a shot. And mm -hmm. that's insane because, I mean, personal experience, I got one shot and, and really, really, I felt it throughout my whole body. It, I had to lay down. And, and my body had to recover. I had to spend a whole day just laying down on the floor, waiting for my body to recover. You know, that was yep. a bad experience. And thankfully, I was able to retire, so I don't have to get, I don't have to continue getting shots every year. Like, does your yeah. job require you guys to take shots? Yeah, I mean, they, the way they do is, um, you got to take the either a test, the COVID test, to make sure you don't have it every week. So if you're a weak-minded person, you're not going to do it every week. You're going to get tired of it and say, you know what, let me just do it. But if, you, you know, if you're consistent and you say, you know, I have belief of not doing it, you just do the test weekly. That's it. I mean, that is insane. But look at, look at it now. It's not mandatory now. The mayor just said that it's not mandatory no more. They're going to remove all that. And the teachers are on strike. The people that got fired, they want to come back. A lot of truth is coming out now, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the fact that this was man-made in a laboratory is coming out the news. Did you hear about the, the fact that the mask don't really work? Did, did oh, you... yeah. 
I heard about that. Even Fauci in one of his interviews said it doesn't work. You know? The masks don't work. The, the actual vaccine doesn't prevent anything. You could still catch it. So it's like, what? Why are we doing a vaccine for? We can still get it. Why are we wearing a mask if it doesn't help? So all of that is coming out because they're trying to say that they're using facts, but those are not facts. That's just politics. That's just how they feel. So Mm -hmm. it's it's crazy. And now the comedian Woody Harris he went on and spoke the truth. Like let's get everybody locked down and promote this drug. Because at the end of the day, it's just a drug. And they're the biggest cartel in the country. And then people... And you know what it is? When you create fear, fear brings money. It's like the military. You got, you know, you, uh, you create war. You, you get a lot of money. So by creating this uh, COVID-19, locked everybody up. Try not now, to say as that. as soon as we get out... What's that? Don't say COVID-19. Oh, I shouldn't say it. Don't, don't say the name of the, of the virus. Because I don't know if they're going to remove this YouTube video once I put it up. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't talk bad <laughs> you know, about the, it. The thing, the thing, you know. Yeah. They, um... Bullshit, but yeah. It, it, you know, it is what it is, man. So, time will tell. Go ahead, you were saying... What, how many years have I been? Two years? <laughs> um, yeah, it's been like two years. Yeah. So... It's crazy how they, they you, you were saying that they isolated several communities, made sure mm-hmm. whatever the government wanted to do, they were doing it. They were controlling people. So yeah. this is a good time to do conspiracy theories. That's my conspiracy theory, that it was all set up by government to see if the people mm. were going to follow along and believe everything they say and call it facts, when at the end of the day, it wasn't facts. There were doctors that went against it, that went against the vaccine, that went against the lockdown. I mean, there were even countries that didn't even do the lockdown. People don't know that. That yeah. They just treated it like the flu. Exactly. So let me give you an example. If you are, let's say, want to have a meeting and you have a private jet, you don't have to go through those process of showing the, the, that you got vaccinated, all the paperwork. Or you just have your own airline your own private store your own airline you don't have to go through all that bullshit you so. just said it all the people were money that have private jets that have private mm-hmm. everything rich people doesn't have to worry about that you know there was no yeah. pandemic there's no pandemic for rich people you know what i mean if you got yeah. the money you could do whatever you want i mean that's just like yeah. people want money they don't have to deal with and this I, I, you know another thing i know it was bullshit if you notice, all the supermarket, all the stores, but what about the liquor stores? They were open. You see? And you heard that in the news. A lot of kids, oh, like, became alcoholics. They went through hell because of this. You know what I mean? Staying home and just drinking. Crazy. But I'm going to leave it there. What's your conspiracy theory? What do you think? Why are they allowing this to happen on TV? That is just crazy. So look at that. Woody Harrison's school anti vaccine conspiracy and rambling SNL monologue. It's been crazy times. So we're going to leave it right there. If you stuck around for this video for this long, um, shout out to you. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. I got 101 subscribers so far. So we're making it happen. All right. See you guys on the next video. And please let me know what's your conspiracy theory.